Praise your voices and tell him how good he is, how wonderful he is, how gracious he is. Bless you, we worship you, we give all the praise. Thank you, Kings of Glory. Thank you, Thank you for mercy. Lord. Thank you for those who we worship you, Lord. Lord. Father, we say thank you. Praise the name of you, Lord. Thank you for all that you have done for us. Thank you for bringing us this far. Thank you, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. in abundance and cause your rain to fall on me open the floodgates in abundance and cause your rain to fall your rain to fall on me, open the floodgates in abundance, and cause your rain to fall on me.
worship you forever, love you forever, because this God is too good. Worship you forever, love you forever, because this God is too good. I will worship, I will worship you forever, love you forever, because this God is too much. I will love you forever, love you forever, because this God is too much. I will, I will worship you forever, love you forever, because this God is too much. to do casting crowns lifting hands bowing down so we What 
si con visa Even a net door, even angels bow before you. What a mighty God he is. We are serving him. What a mighty God. We say hallelujah. What a mighty Even angels bow before you. What a mighty God we say. What a mighty God. What a mighty God. We say. Hallelujah. What a mighty God. We say. Heaven and earth adore. Even angels bow before you. What a mighty God we say. What a mighty God we say. What a mighty God we say. Hallelujah. Heaven and earth adore. Even the angels bow before you. What a mighty God we say. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. It is a great thing. The Lord reigneth, lady, I tremble. The Lord reigneth, lady, I 
present begin to give the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Alpha and the Omega, honor, adoration. Begin to bless his holy, holy name. If the Lord who has kept off till now, from January to this month of November, and even in this month of November, we have approached this 17th day of this month. It's just by his grace, it's just by his power that we are alive that we are healthy, we're not in the hospital, we're not in the mortuary, we are in the sanctuary today. It deserves all the honor, all the adoration. Open your mouth and bless his holy, holy name. Jehovah Jireh, we come before thee this morning. We say we honor you, we adore you. You are the king of kings, you are the lord of lords, the Alpha and the Omega. Lord, be thou exalted, be thou exalted. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have worshipped. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have worshipped. Brethren, let us also appreciate the King of kings. Open your mouth and begin to thank him. Thank him for the gift of life. Thank him for the food on your table. Thank him for your going out. Thank him for your coming in. Thank him, thank him even for the money you have in your pocket to spend. Thank him for his maximum protection over you, over your household. Thank him for the grace even to pay your bills. Thank the king of kings for the grace to be present even in his presence thank this Lord. morning. Thank Lord, we Lord. thank you. Father, we appreciate we you. We Father, can't we thank you enough, O oh Lord. Lord. We appreciate you for all that you have done. We appreciate you for all that you have done. We appreciate you even for all that you have still said to do. Thank you for destroying the plans of the enemy against our lives, against our household. Lord, be thy daughter in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you Accept our thanks in Daddy Jesus' mighty name. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Amen. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Amen. Let us also come before him with the heart of repentance. That the Lord Almighty, as we have come before thee, you will forgive us in whatever way we might have sinned against you. The Lord Almighty, we will enjoy your total forgiveness in Jesus' mighty name. You will cleanse us of all our iniquities in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And as we approach your throne of mercy this morning, you will not cast us out in Jesus' Amen. mighty name. You will clothe us Amen. even with your garments of mercy in the name of the Lord Amen. Jesus Christ. Amen. And all our expectations, Lord Almighty, we not be caught up in Jesus' mighty name. Father, Lord Almighty, we come before thee. We ask, O oh Lord, that in whatever way we might have sinned against you, your mercy we avail in Jesus' mighty name. You will purify us in Jesus' mighty name. You will not cast us out of your presence today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Brethren, let us quickly commit today's service unto his table hands that the Lord Almighty will take absolute control. Amen. He will take preeminence in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Everything we have brought before him to worship him with, the Lord Almighty will make acceptable unto him in Jesus' mighty name. Open your mouth and pray. Commit the service unto God's able hand that he will take preeminence. He will use us mightily in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And he will bless us richly even at the end of everything. And only his name will be glorified while all the blessings will be ours in Jesus' mighty name. And so shall it be in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And so shall it be in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Very quickly, brethren, we're going to be taking uh, three prayer points uh, from the book of Esther, chapter 6. Permit me to quickly read from the English Standard Version. I'll read chapter 6, Esther chapter 6 from 1 to 
to five in order not to take your time. And um, uh, if you want to, when you get home, you to read the entire chapter. The Lord Mary will help us in Jesus' name. Verse 1, on that night, the king could not sleep, and he gave orders to bring the book of memorable deeds, the chronicles, and they were read before the king, and it was found written how Mordecai had told about Bethania and Therese, two of the king's eunuchs, who guarded the threshold and who had sought to lay hands on King Ahasuerus. And the king said, What honor or distinction has been bestowed on Mordecai for thee? The king's young men who attended him said, Nothing has been done for him. And the king said, Who is in the court? Now Haman had just entered the outer court of the king's palace to speak to the king about having Mordecai hanged on the gallows that he had prepared for him. Brethren, this pas passage very quickly is about Mordecai. Uh, Mordecai uh, has already helped to, uh, helped to save the king's life, but nothing, nothing was done to, you know, appreciate him for that, to really honor him. He was totally forgotten until the Lord makes the king become trouble so much that he lost his peace, he could not sleep until he decided to call for the book of memorable deeds to be read to him, probably to calm him down. And it was uh, in that moment that Mordecai's story was uh, made known to him, how he had helped uh, the king, and he decided to honor him. So our first prayer point, brethren, you're going to open your mouth and say, Lord, let the book of your favor, let the book of your favor be open concerning me and my household today. Be open concerning me and my household today. In Jesus' in mighty Jesus name. Mighty open your mouth and pray. Father, so let the book of Father, in the name of Jesus, favor, Lord. Of your let the book favor of favor, Lord. Be open concerning me and my household today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, let the book Lord of Almighty, favor, Father, O Lord, be open unto me, O Lord. The book of your let it be open unto me, O Lord. Open today let it be open unto me, O Lord. Me let the book of favor be open unto me and my household, O Lord, today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Remembrance today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And let me be highly favored. Let my household be highly favored. Even today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. As this year is running out, Father Lord of Mary, favor your divine favor from above. Let me begin to enjoy. Let my family begin to enjoy. Let my children begin to enjoy. Let our household begin to enjoy in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father Lord Almighty, we need your favor. We need your favor. Bless us with your favor in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Open your book of divine favor concerning us in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And all our memorable deeds, all our good deeds, let all this come to your remembrance today and bless us richly with your divine favor in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let your favor begin to speak for us in Jesus' mighty name. Let's begin to enjoy your favor on all sides in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Even your church, cause your church to begin to enjoy your divine favor in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Open your book of divine favor concerning us, O Lord, and favor us mightily in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And so shall it be in Jesus' mighty name. And so shall it be in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And if you look at uh, verse, verse 2, it says, And it was found written how Mordecai had told about Bethana and Therese, two of the king's eunuchs who guarded the threshold and who had sought to lay hands on King Ahasuerus. And the king said, What honor distinction has been bestowed on Mordecai for thee? The king's young men who attended him said, Nothing has been done for him. Pray that the Lord Almighty will cause those he has blessed to bless you. Those who, are, who, who those he has favored to favor you, to remember you, 
in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And do that that the Lord has purposed them for in Jesus' mighty name. Pray. Those that the Lord has blessed to bless you, those that the Lord has favored to favor you, will remember you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And bless you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. King Ahasuerus was positioned to bless Mordecai, but he totally forgot about Mordecai. He never remembered the good deeds of Mordecai. But when it was time, the Lord touched him. Pray that the Lord Almighty will touch those that he has blessed to bless you, those who he, he has favored to favor you, that the Lord will touch them and cause them to bless you, to do that that they have been proposed to do for you in Jesus' mighty name. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. And the, the third one says, if you look at uh, verse, verse 4, and the king said, who is in the court? Now Haman had just entered the outer court of the king's palace to speak to the king about having Mordecai hanged on the gallows that he had prepared for him. Pray this last one very quickly. Let the plans of all my enemies boomerang on them and let them fall inside their own pit in Jesus' mighty name. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, all the plans of the enemy cause to boomerang on them in Jesus' mighty name and let them fall inside their pit, inside their own pit, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and turn all their evil plans around, even for my favor, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and let only your name be glorified. So shall it be, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Father God, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, we will come before thee. We say, Lord, accept us in Jesus' mighty name. Don't cast us out of your presence in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for the way and manner you have started with us today. Thank you, Lord Almighty, because we know you will hang even much more strongly than our expectations with us in Jesus' mighty name. Lord Almighty, at the end of everything, all the glory will be yours, while all the blessings will be ours in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Now we'll be taking our hymns titled, Come to Your Blessings.
Before you take your seat, I want you to pray. Count your blessing. Name them one by one. I want you to think of the blessings of God upon your life this morning, upon your household, upon this church, and uh, give thanks to God for all that he has done. Open your mouth and thank him. Yes, let's give him praise. He's worthy to be glorified this morning. It's our God. Let's give him worship. Let's say thank you, Jesus. The song says, yes, count your blessings, name them one by one. The question is, can you even remember all the blessings of God upon your life? I don't think so. Or the one that you remember this morning, why can't you open your mouth and say, Daddy, I thank you for Johnny Mercy. Yeah, that's one of the blessings that you receive. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for good health. Thank you for divine professional. Yes, thank you for divine safety. Thank you for divine guidance. Lord, I bless you. Daddy, be glorified this morning. Count your blessings. Eh? See what God has done. Appreciate him this morning. Is worthy to be praised. Father, we worship you. Lord, be glorified, be exalted, be magnified, O oh Lord, this morning. Thank you for this day. Thank you for this church. Thank you for everyone here. Thank you for every family represented here. Father, we worship you. We say thank you. We cannot thank you enough. Daddy, accept our praises this morning. Accept our worship this morning. Accept our thanksgiving this morning. We return all the glory unto you. No man can share your glory with you. We are thankful this morning. Daddy, we are grateful. Be magnified, be exalted, oh Lord. Thank you for being our redeemer, our shade, our defender. Lord, we worship you. Thank you for being our sustainer. We give you all the praise. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Father, we say thank you for all that you have done. We worship you. For what you are doing right now, we give you praise. For all that you will do after now, Father, we worship your name, O oh Lord. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Uh, you are the God of increase. Uh, we have come before you this morning, O oh Lord. Uh, Father, everything that needs to be increased in our life, Father, let you receive divine increase now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, every area of our lives that we need divine increase. Uh, Father, O oh Lord, let it be now in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, Father, we pray, O oh Lord, that you increase your word in our hearts in the name of Jesus. Uh, our head shall be increased in the name of Jesus. Oh, Makuli Kassinda, financially we shall be increased in the name of Jesus. This church shall be increased in the name of Jesus. In wisdom we shall be increased in the name of Jesus. In understanding we shall be increased in the name of Jesus. In all that we set our hands to do, Father, we receive divine increase. In the name of God the Father. God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Send forth your word to us today in the name of Jesus. And after I have preached the word, Father, I will not be a castaway. No one here will be a castaway. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, King of glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Somebody shout hallelujah. And I want you to join the two hands together to celebrate Jesus this morning. Thank him, thank him, thank him for the gift of life. Please have your seat. God bless you all in Jesus' name. Yes, thank you, sir. Thank you, ma. I'm happy to be here this morning. Are you happy to be in the house of God this morning? Are you happy? We are all happy. That's a great thing. We pray that our happiness will not turn to sorrow in the name of Jesus. All that we need to succeed in all our endeavors that Almighty God will give us in Jesus' name. This morning, by the grace of God, I want to share with us um, a message titled, The God of Increase. The God of Increase. I pray that the God of Increase will increase every one of us in the name of Jesus. I say the Lord God Almighty will increase us in all that we set our hands to do in the name of Jesus Christ. This is not the time to press your phone. It is not the time to press your, keep, uh, your computer. This is the time to concentrate on the word of God coming to you. 
and listen to the word of God and receive blessing. The only thing that you can do on your computer or your phone is when you are writing something or putting something down from the message. God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Our test is taken from the book of 1 Corinthians. The book of 1 Corinthians 3, 6 to 7. First book of Corinthians. The first book of Corinthians chapter 3. I'm reading verses 6 and 7. Two verses, six and seven. Brother David, please, can we have it on the screen? And let's let's take it together. Let's read it together. Okay, let's go. One to go. I have planted, Apollos watered, but God gave the increase. The Lord God Almighty God will give us the increase that we need this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's go to verse seven. So then, neither is he that planted anything, neither he that watereth, but God that giveth the increase. The Almighty God will give us the increase that we need in the name of Jesus Christ. The NLT fashion says, the NLT fashion says, I planted the seed in your hearts, and Apollos watered it, but it was God who made it grow. It is not important who does the planting or who does the watering. What is important is that God makes the seed grow. The seed that God has planted in our life through the people of God, through the one way or the other, the Almighty God will make it grow this morning in the name of Jesus. Everything God has given to us, the Lord will make it grow this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. What is an increase? An increase. What is an increase? It is an instance of growing or making greater. Instance of what? Growing or making what? Greater. It is about growth. It is about rise. It is about enlargement. It is about expansion. It is about multiplication. It is about elevation. I pray for you that the almighty God will multiply everything that needs to be multiplied in our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Are we together? Who is the God of increase? The God of increase is the almighty God. The almighty God, the creator of heaven and earth, is the God of increase. He's the only one who can increase us. He's the only one who can give us the growth that we desire. He's the only one who knows where we need increase. Is the only one who can multiply us. Is the only one who can give us the elevation that we need. Is the only one who has the capacity, the ability, the power to multiply all that we set our hands to do. No one has the power to do that. It is only God, the almighty God. In Jeremiah 32, verse 27, the Bible says, Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? What is that thing that you want to grow in your life? What is that growth that you desire? What is the elevation that you want? You need promotion. You need expansion. Enlargement. It's the God of all flesh that can make all this possible in your life. He's the supplier of good things. Philippians 4, 19 says, But my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. He's the only one. 
who is the God of increase, is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the shepherd of our souls. Is the only one that, in, that can increase us in any area of our lives. We want the church to grow. We want the church to you know, expand. Oh, we want the church to be elevated. We go to God in prayer. It says, ask and shall be given unto you. Matthew 7, 7. And I pray that as we go before him in prayer, asking him to increase us, he will not put up, he will not put us to shame in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I say, God will not put us to shame in the mighty name of Jesus. The God that we serve is the God of increase. If you go back to that scripture. If you go to that, that scripture, our text for today, 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 6 to 7, it said, I have planted, Apollo watered, but God gave the increase. It doesn't matter how much you have tried. It doesn't matter how much you have labored, people of God. It doesn't matter how much time you have devoted to studying, your, you know, your, your, your class work, you know, doing your um, your homework, you no know, assignment, everything you need to do. You cannot joke with God factor because it's the one that will bring the increase. It's the one that will make you to succeed. It's the one that will fulfill his purpose in your life. Our God is a God of increase. If you want anything that will increase in your life, you have to source for it from the almighty God. Because whatever that he does in your life is going to be permanent. It's, it's not going to be taken away from you, except if you disobey him. But if you continue to walk in his will for your life, God is not going to disappoint you. Is faithful. Is faithful. Somebody shout hallelujah. I pray for you as I pray for myself this morning. That the almighty God. Before now and the end of this month. Will give us that desire increase in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Our God is a God of increase. God promised us increase in Deuteronomy 28 verse 1 to 4. He promised us. He makes promise and he fulfills it. Deuteronomy 28 verse 1 to 4. The Bible says, and it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently. Unto the voice of the Lord thy God is a condition. You have to what? Listen to the voice of who? Of the Lord thy God. He said, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I commanded thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth, and all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee, if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Blessed shall thou be in the city, and blessed shall thou be in the field. Blessed shall the, be the fruit of thy body, and the fruit of thy ground, and the fruit of thy cattle, the increase of thy kind, and the flock of thy sheep. God promises us increase. God does not want us to be stagnant. Where you were last year, God, does, God, 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 will, God will not be happy to see you. Staying on the same spot. He wants you to grow. In knowledge of God, God wants us to grow. In study scriptures. Our prayer life, God wants us to grow. Last year, as a student, you start 
95, 96, 97. This year, God wants you to grow. You can score 100. You can have A. You can have A+. plus. God wants you to move forward. The best has not score. You can achieve the greater level that God desires for you. Last year, you only prayed once every day. God wants you to pray, to devote more time, better than last year, better than last month. How many souls did you minister to last year? How was your relationship with God last month? This month, this month, God is telling someone, you need to move forward. All that you do for God, you need an increase. Don't stay on that spot. Don't stay too long on that spot. Whatever you have been doing for God, whatever you have been doing for people of God, whatever you have been doing in school, in regards to your school work and what have you, God wants you to what? To step forward. To move forward. God wants you to grow. God does not want you to stay on that, stop, on that spot. Am I talking to someone this morning? Increase is God's will for you and I and all his children. Increase is what? Is God's will for you and I and his what? And his children. It's not limited to a particular set of people. Every child of God must experience what we call divine increase. That is the desire of God for us. If God gives you an idea, he expects it to bring increase to your life. What is that idea that God has given to you? God wants you to bring an increase. That idea to bring an increase into your life. What is that thing that you used to do very well when you are doing it? People clap for you. People appreciate you. People hail you. Oh, you are doing well. You are doing well. Oh, let's clap for him. Oh, let's do this. Let's celebrate him. God wants you to do more. Anything that is godly, anything that will bring glory to the name of the Lord God, that you do, God wants you to do more, put more effort. God wants you to increase in every godly, that, godly things that you do. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. God wants everything he has given us to bring what? Increase to our lives. God has a plan for you. He hasn't abandoned you. He wants you to increase in all areas of your life. In wisdom, he wants you to increase. In serving him, he wants you to increase. God is the one that gives increase after a seed has been sowed. In one's life. In soul winning, seed of prayer, God is the one that brings increase. He's the one that gives increase. If you are excelling in your chosen feet, give God the glory. Because he's the one that makes it possible. It is not by your power. It is not by your strength. If things are working out for you in your career, give him the glory. If your marriage is doing well, don't share the glory with him. Give him the glory. In Isaiah chapter 5, verse 1 to 2, the Bible says, Look unto Abraham your father, and unto say that that bear you. For I have called him alone, and bless him, and increase him. He blessed Abraham. He increased Abraham. Abraham is our father. 
He said, look unto Abraham, your father, and unto Sarah that bear you. For I call him alone and bless him and increase him. It is desire of God for us to what? To increase in all that we do. No. Let's ask God for increase. Praise the Lord. Do we desire increase? Are you sure I want you to pray this prayer? And say, Father, you are the God of increase. Increase me, O oh Lord, in every area of my life, in all that I set my hands to do. Father, O oh Lord, let me experience divine increase. In the name of Jesus Christ. I will pray now. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. God increased Abraham. God promised Abraham that he will make him as numerous as the sand at the seashore. At that point, I want you to note that at that point, Abraham and Sarah were without a child. And God promised them that I'm going to increase you. <laughs> I'm going to make you a father of the nations. <laughs> And this is a man that has no child at that point in time. At that age, how is it going to happen? But we are talking about God, not a man. He makes promises and he fulfills it. God promised one man alone. Then God took that one man, Abraham, fulfilled his promises to him, blessed and increased him, and made him the father of no, the father of nations. I pray for you. The promise of God concerning you, concerning me, shall come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And the Bible says in Genesis chapter 17, verse 1 to 4, the Bible says, And when Abraham was 90 years old, when Abraham was 90 years old and 9, 90 years old and 9, that is 99, right? The Lord appeared to Abraham and said unto him, I am the almighty God. Walk before me and be thou perfect. And I will make my covenant between me and thee. And we multiply thee exceedingly. The Lord will multiply us exceedingly in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And Abraham fell on his face. And God talked with him, saying, As for me, behold, my covenant is with thee. And thou shalt be a father of many nations. I pray. The covenant of God with us will not be taken away in the name of Jesus. I said the covenant of God for us shall come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. The covenant of God for Abraham came to pass. He promised him, I will make you a father of what? Nations. It happened. That promise God has given you, that promise God has given you will come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Am I talking to someone this morning? When God decides to make you great, nobody on the surface of the earth will be able to what? To count your blessings. If God decides to make you great, nobody can stop him. No man can stop you. Not even sickness. Devil cannot stop you. Satan cannot stop you. Nobody. No man, no woman, no devil. No Satan, no boss can stop you. Listen to me, I have a good news for you. Because God has decided to make you great, nobody will stop you in the name of Jesus. Ah, that greatness shall be established in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Just as Abraham's offspring became immeasurable. Therefore, the God, okay, the God we serve is the one that can repeat himself. If he has done it for one before, he can do it again for you. He did it for Abraham. He can make you great, yes. We are serving a supernatural God. And that is the God of increase. That same God of increase that increased Abraham will increase us mightily in the name of Jesus. Now, in what areas can one be increased? Let me quickly mention that. Increase is God's will for his people, as I said earlier on. 
He wants to give you more peace. He wants to give us more wisdom. God wants to give us more spiritual discernment and sensitivity. God wants to, God want to give us more strength. God wants to give us more influence, more joy, more faith. God wants to give us more love, more favor, more material resources. Psalm 115, verse 14 says, The Lord shall increase you more and more, you and your children. That's the word of God. Psalm 115, verse 14. The Lord shall increase you more and more, you and your children. God wants us to increase more and more. And that will come to pass in our lives in Jesus' name. Finally, in what area does God want us to increase? In wisdom. According to Luke 2, 52, God wants us to increase in wisdom. The Bible says in Luke 2.52, and Jesus kept increasing in wisdom. Look at that. This is the word of God. Listen to this. And Jesus do what? Jesus kept increasing in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and men. It's on the screen. You can see it. So God wants Jesus to do what? To increase. In what? In wisdom and stature. God wants you also to increase in wisdom and stature. That is why I, I use, you know, um, uh, I use the example like being a student in your class. Oh, you are a student. Oh, you scored 95, 96, 97. What stop you this time around to score 100? <laughs> your A can become A+. plus. Make us proud, children. Make your parents proud again. That's what I was sharing with my son when I was coming this morning. I said, hey, you need to make us proud again. These grades are good. But you can do better. A is for people, fine. A plus is for people too. So if people, if you have A plus, it means it is achievable. You can have it. A plus. Work towards it. Work hard and pray. You get there. Somebody shout hallelujah. In favor with God and men, God wants us to increase. We see it from the uh, book of Luke, chapter 2, verse 52. Jesus increased in what? In wisdom and stature, in favor. God wants us to increase in favor with God and with men. Wherever you go, your place of work in school, in your class. No, God wants you to, re, to, to, to increase in favor. Want your teachers to like you more. Want your teachers to show interest, to, to have special interest in you, to show you deep things. What you can do to be a better student in your class. Praise the living Jesus Christ. Somebody shout hallelujah. In faith, God wants us to increase. In Luke chapter 17, verse 5, the Bible says, The apostles said to the Lord, increase our faith. God wants our faith to increase. God wants our faith to increase. Your faith in the word of God, your faith in prayer, your faith in God. God wants it to increase. Praise the Lord. In the word of God, God wants us to increase. In Acts of Apostles, chapter 6, verse 7, the Bible says, And the word of God increased, and the number of the disciples multiplied in Jerusalem greatly, and a great company of the priests were obedient to the faith. You see now, when the word of God increased, in Jerusalem, it brought about an increase in the number of the disciples. How often do you study the word of God? If I ask you, when last did you pick up your Bible and read? I'm not talking of today now. During the week. Be sincere to yourself. No time. To student, school work, right? To we the parent, our schedule. It's so tight. God will help us in Jesus' name. I say God will help someone in Jesus' name. Yes, in number, God wants us to increase. God wants this church to increase in number. Acts 16.5 says, and so, and so were the churches established in the faith and increased in number daily. God wants this church to increase in number daily every Sunday. First timers, new members. Let's pray towards that. God give us new members, first timers, and God will bring them in the name of Jesus Christ. I say God will bring them in the name of Jesus Christ. And lastly, in anointing, Eli Elisha asked for a double portion 
asked for a double portion of Elijah's spirit. Second Kings chapter two, verse nine. The Bible says, um, Second Kings two, verse nine. And it came to pass when they were gone over that Elijah said unto Elisha, "Ask what I shall do for thee before I be taken away from thee." And I and Elijah said, "I pray thee, let a double portion of thy spirit be upon me. Double portion. That is double portion of Elisha's anointing." The Lord will give us double portion of anointing that we desire this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The anointing of God over our life will continue to multiply in the name of Jesus. I want you to rise on your feet. In all areas of our lives, God wants us to increase. God's will for us is to increase in all areas of life. May the good Lord increase us on every side in the name of Jesus. If you want to increase in all that you set your hands to do, in all your desires, in all in your feet, on everything that you want, in this life, you need to be a child of God. Are you here? You have not given your life to Christ, listening to us, or you come across this video later in life, and you have not given your life to Christ. For you to be increased in wisdom, in faith, in knowledge, in ideas, in numbers, and all of you, you need to be a child of God. Just, just pray to God and say, Father, in the name, come to my life today. You have not given your life to Christ. Please accept me as your son, O oh Lord. Forgive me all my trespasses. Teach me how to love you, how to serve you, and how to do your way to the end. Or you have given your life to Christ. Maybe you are still like one leg in, one leg out. Like, no, you are not sure of your salvation. Pray to God. Father, restore me, O oh Lord, unto yourself this morning. In the mighty name of you. This day, O oh Lord. Uh, yes, uh, yes. Help me to retrace my step, O oh Lord. Uh, and have me bow to yourself. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Father, we thank you for this word. You have sent forth your word to us again, O oh Lord. You are the God of increase. You are the one that gives increase. And your desire for us is to increase in all that we do. Father, we pray, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, O oh Lord. Give us the increase that we desire that our lives need, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. And all praise, honor, and adoration shall be yours forever. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Somebody shout hallelujah. God bless you all in Jesus' name. I pray that the Lord Almighty will increase us in every sight in the name of Jesus. Let's pray for the man of God. Let's, let's pray for him that the Lord will increase him too. The Lord will enlarge him in his ministry in the name of Jesus, O oh Lord. Heavenly Father, we pray for the man of God that the Lord will expand him in the name of Jesus. He will increase him in the name of He will elevate him in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. It's time to give unto the Lord. It's time to give our love offering and our tithes. Praise the Lord. Uh, giving to God shows that we love him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Are we ready to give? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And then uh, for people that are watching us online, you can give through how it is shown on the screen. And then for we that we are here, we can give uh, uh, through, uh, through cash or whatever the way we like to give. Praise the Lord. We are going higher. We are going higher. Let's close our eyes in prayer. Heavenly Father, we say thank you. Father, this is our love offering and our tithe. 
We pray, O oh Lord, that you will increase us in the name of Jesus. We pray, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, that whatever we lay our hands on shall be blessed in the name of Jesus. We pray, O oh Lord, that you will enlarge us and enlarge our coast in the name of Jesus. Father, we say thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And this shall be used for your own glory. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Let the living soul shout hallelujah. The weekly announcements. Thank you for joining us for today's Sunday service. We hope that you are blessed throughout the service. Join us every Wednesday for our Bible study. This is a time when we dig into the Word of God. It is also an interactive session. Our monthly prayer meeting is held every last Thursday of every month. Communion service is held every last Wednesday of the month on Zoom. That's all the announcements we have for you today. Again, thank you for joining us today. And sure to invite someone to church next week. And have a blessed week. Thank you. Praise the Lord. If you are clapping, let's clap for Jesus. If you are celebrating Jesus, let's do it well. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Before we, close this, uh, before we close this service, I just want to appreciate every one of you for being here today to worship God in this sanctuary. We pray that the Almighty God will give us a pleasant week in the name of Jesus. As we step out this week, the Lord God Almighty will keep our going out and our coming in Jesus' name. As I said earlier on, some of our members are not around at work, some travel, you know, workers. Please, let's remember them. Let's pray for them. Remember them in our prayers. And uh, we pray that the Almighty God will guide them wherever they are and in all that they do in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's rise on our feet. Let's take our everyday confession on the screen. Do we have it on the screen? Okay, let's go. I'm a chosen generation. <laughs> I'm a royal priesthood. I'm a holy nation. I'm a peculiar person. I will show for the praise of him who has come me out of darkness into his marvelous light. In the name of God the Father, the name of God the Son, and the name of God the Holy Spirit. Let's stretch forth our hands to the altar. In the name that is above every name, your good dream will not die. Your good plan will not fail. Your vision shall be fulfilled. The God Almighty will increase you on every side. In the name of Jesus, in all that you set your hands to do, the Almighty God will prosper you. Your good desires shall be granted. Before this month expires, the increase that your life needs, the Lord will give unto you. And your testimony shall be big in the name of Jesus. Before this month expires, your help of destiny will locate you. As you step out, going about your daily routine this way, the Almighty God will guide you, will protect you, will give you all that you desire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' glorious name, we have prayed. Somebody shout hallelujah. Let's share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Praise the Lord. Have a blessed week. Love God, serve him, and enjoy your week.